north of Kazakhstan, from idea to realization, for the faces and details that usually remain behind the scenes, what inspires artists, what is their creation process, on what artists and poets, musicians and playwrights reflect upon, how do they present themselves to the world, how do they express the essence of their era. Together with Carmine Barbaro, we immerse into the world of creative search, into an atmosphere of trial and error, discoveries and revelations. My name is Carmine Barbaro. Many years ago, I came to Kazakhstan and stayed to live on this land, because I fell in love with its people, culture, and art. Today I am visiting the Abai State Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet for the premiere of the ballet Coppelia. This is one of the first ballets put in our country. This year will be the 80th anniversary of the first production of Coppelia. In 1937 it was staged for the first time. This ballet is one of the most striking classical ballets that you can see practically at any big stage of the world. Here is the wonderful music of Leo Delip, the magnificent setting of the choreography by Marius Petipa. In our theater, this will be the original production by our chief choreographer, Gujan Tutkibayeva. Ballet production designer Vyacheslav Okunyev, who has staged more than 400 performances in the best theaters in the world, including the Bolshoi, Mariinsky and the Verona Arena, he calls this ballet ballet holiday, and it's no coincidence. There is a lot of humor in it, a lot of merry mise-en-scenes. And of course, luxurious suits, luxurious decorations done in the classical manner. And when the spectator comes, his eye naturally rejoices, because here he can enjoy the synthesis of choreography, music and beautiful scenography. This is my third appeal to Kapilia. I did it at the Mariinsky Theater in St. Petersburg. I did the first version of the production with Vihurev for the Novosibirsk Theater. That performance received the Golden Mask. This new appeal is so fundamental and it is in general completely authoritative. Together with the choreographer, we created, invented a new world in which these characters exist. For the artist, it's such a joy to work with the music of Delib, with Hoffman. The main storyline is taken from the novels of Hoffman, mainly from The Sandman. It shows the love story of two young people, Svanilda and Franz. And the parallel line is the love story of the puppet master alchemist Capelius to his creation, the Capelia doll. There is a well-known expression of Stanislavski, the theater begins with a hangar. Well, in my opinion, the theater begins with a sewing workshop, because here, according to the artist decorator's idea, images are created on which the artists appear before the viewer. This performance is so bright, the color scale is very rich. It is a ballet in which such fabrics as mesh, lycra, chiffon, crepe de chine, gabardine are used. The peculiarity is that for the first time in this performance we use printing cloth. There are a lot of characters, more than 100 men's and women's costumes. All in all, we have five masters in tailoring men's suits and four seamstresses for making women's suits, two cutters for us and two artists for painting costumes. We have such a small team. In 40-45 days we have to sew costumes for the whole performance. The work is intended for a large, good troupe, and this theater has that. We wanted people to get a sense of the holiday right from the start from the first picture. There will be a lot of miracles in the second picture. All the costumes were invented for this theater, all the set design too. This is such a new, completely work. 
There are even elements somewhere from the latest trends of modern urban fashion. Because we made classical ballet with printed fabrics. There were some moves. The artist gives us an image together with a choreography director and we create it. We select specific makeup style individually for each artist. Now the beard is glued, the moustache, the wig, it's a burgomaster. We have two capellias, two completely different people. They are different in texture and in the structure of the face. Accordingly, the makeup is also a little different. We tried to adapt it to the artist. From Gumoza we attached a nose hemp. It was the artist's wish that there was such a small hemp, wrinkles, bald head and a half wig. Makeup will emphasize his weird look. He will play with his face expressions. That will help too. And our task is to help the actor to have a right makeup to have the best performance on stage. Ten days before the premiere of Capilla, theater managers conducted, as they say, a PR campaign. Together with the largest Kazan film company, they presented a picture of Valery Todorovsky, the big one, presented all the ladies with flowers and showed the ballet skill on such an unusual, improvised stage. Sometimes we hold such actions when the theater goes out of the limits of the theater, our stage, and goes, as they say, to the people. We decided to start cooperation and expand the horizons and went outside the theater and decided to collaborate with a network of film parks. In order to acquaint the audience with our theater, with our wonderful artists, with our performances. We need to demonstrate to people who don't know yet about such a great art as opera and ballet. So we go to the cinema and show how interesting it can really be. Perhaps after this action, someone will come to our performances. We're constantly fighting for the viewer. The long-awaited premiere, the beautiful hall of one of the oldest theaters of the country, is filled with public. The lights go out and magical action begins. Do you understand what theater is? This is very expensive. All that we have is all true. We have a live orchestra. In our orchestra pit there are 60 musicians, 20 violinists, 6 cellists, viola players. These tools just do not play. And we only have an orchestra pit and a pipe, a flute, a clarinet and a bassoon. Symphony orchestra, live performances. We do not have the right to make a mistake. We must always play perfect, play at the right pace and embody the composer's intention. We have a live action on the stage. 40 dancers, 40 ballet dancers. They all work synchronously. They own their skills every day at rehearsals. The ballet Capellia belongs to a rare genre in ballet art, comic ballet. It's full of unusual choreography, full of unusual pantomime, magnificent beautiful music. In our version of the theatre, both classical choreography and neoclassical choreography, as well as pantomime, are connected.
Historians of art called Kapilia the greatest among the choreographic comedies. I am glad that now this ballet is also in the repertoire of the Abai Opera and Ballet Theatre.